I thought this was some sick April Fool's joke at first, but this MMA fighter really did lose his finger in the middle of a fight. Welcome back everybody, I'm Dr. Brian Suter and this is your number one source for learning about the unique medical side of the world of sports. At CFFC 94, fighter Hatog Pilev lost his finger in the middle of a round. So let's take a look at this and see what in the world happened. As always, if you enjoy learning about this unique side of sports, please consider subscribing to the channel and hit that thumbs up button if you learned something here and let's get started. This is the scene between rounds and they're looking at his hand, I'm sure just completely bewildered with what they're seeing because his ring finger is just legitimately gone. I don't know what they're debating here and talking about. Eventually this guy is like, no, it's it's not there. We can't fight, of course. Apparently afterwards, the PA announcer came on and said that they were trying to find his finger and they asked the fans to help because they didn't know where it was. So this was just an absolutely wild, wild sequence of events. Even when I saw this picture, I still thought it was some sort of weird April Fool's thing because this is so wild to have happened during a fight. Now, if we look back at this replay, it does appear we can identify the time when the injury occurred. So here, Pilev is having his left hand grabbed here, and you can see that his opponent is basically grabbing the glove. Of course, their gloves have individual holes for the fingers, and so if you're pulling on the side of that glove, you're basically taking that part that's around the finger and you're almost turning it into a tourniquet. That tourniquet effect can shut off the blood flow to the finger, which could be part of why maybe he didn't feel it necessarily because of it being sort of anesthetized from that constriction. And then with additional pulling, I guess you can create enough of a kind of high pressure and high shear force over a very small area from that band, which then just causes the finger to come off. Now, I don't think this would be enough force to break the bone. So what likely happened is it basically was severed and then came off at one of the joints in the finger. Just to get a sense of how much has to be torn, if we look at our biodigital anatomy tool, I've basically got all the main structures shown of our fingers. Of course, in blue, we've got our veins. In red, we have little arteries. And you gotta remember, we have tiny little arteries and nerves that run along either side of the finger. On the palm side, we're gonna have two main tendons that are really long that come up to flex our fingers and make a fist. On the back side, we've got another tendon that's going to extend and straighten the finger out. So essentially all this stuff was damaged with that severing injury. Now, a lot of these structures probably retracted higher up into his hand rather than just like a clean cut as if it were a knife. But still, that's what you have to get through to separate the rest of the digit from the hand. Now, like I said, they were on the PA asking people to help find the finger. So if this for some crazy way happens to you, there are some key things you can do. First, find the severed digit. You can rinse it off if it seems really dirty, but don't scrub it. Then you wanna take some moist gauze and basically wrap the severed digit in moist gauze and put that in a Ziploc bag. Then put that bag with the digit into some ice water and then get to the hospital. You don't wanna put the severed digit in direct contact with the ice because that can cause frostbite and make the possibility of reattaching it much less likely. But yes, digits can be replanted, they call it, after something like this, but there's a whole host of factors that go into how functional it's actually going to be. But to do this, they've gotta fish around in there and find those tendons, try to find the nerves, try to find the structures, to then reattach to one another if you wanna get any function back. Combat sports open up so much potential for really severe, unique injuries, but this truly takes the cake. I hope they were able to find the severed digit and kind of wrap it up properly and get him to the hospital to try to replant it, but this is just wild. I don't think I'll ever see anything like this in my career. But anyways, that's it for the video, everybody. I hope this was educational and you were able to learn something here to kind of answer some of your questions about this really wild event. Let me know, as always, any questions or comments down below, and until next time, we'll see you later.